Hi guys, it's me, Benny. I'm here to talk to you about Memorial Day. Memorial Day is a special day that comes in the last Monday of every May. And it's when we remember those who helped give us freedom in our country and who maybe just aren't with us anymore. But that's a little sad, but we love our veterans and we love those who fought for us. So let's go ahead and sing our story time song and then we'll go ahead and make our Memorial Day crafts and hear our Memorial Day stories. Ready? We welcome you to story time, story time, story time. We welcome you to story time. We'll all have lots of fun. Oh, I think Bruiser was getting involved too. Okay, time for story. Memorial Day by Emma Carlson Byrne. Illustrations by Simone Kruger. Music by Mark Malman. We're going to make a patriotic um, wing catcher. For this, you'll need two paper plates, um, just cheap ones will do. Um, you'll see one's already been cut. We already cut a star ahead of time. You'll need a um, pencil to draw the star to cut out. Um, you'll need markers. We have red and blue markers, patriotic colors. You'll need the scissors to cut. And you'll need some yarn or string. Um, I picked two different sizes. You can adjust that later. And um, you also need a hole puncher, which I'll grab in a minute. Okay, so the first step was we cut out the star. Um, we just freehanded it with the um, pencil and cut it out. And now Matthew's gonna color it blue. And we're gonna go ahead and color the whole thing and we're gonna color both sides, um, just so that um, whenever it spins, you can see both sides. So Matthew has finished coloring the star both sides. Go ahead and show them. Put it down lower, honey, okay. All right, so put that aside and we're gonna color some red stripes on this paper. Just 
straight vertical stripes and he's starting on one side. I want to make them kind of thick so you can see them when they're cut. So maybe about an inch thick or so. No more than two inches thick. And we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of this off camera and we'll see what it's like when we're okay. done. So now Matthew has completed coloring his stripes and he's gonna go ahead and cut this into a spiral. Are you okay with this? Yeah, I think okay. so. I think so I just... just kind of loop in on itself until you get to the middle. Make it a nice big spiral, yeah. you're probably going to want it to be a lot narrower than that. Okay. Get the center. Well, do you want me to cut it off? Don't, don't cut it off. Okay, go ahead and stretch it out. Make sure you... Yeah, you're going to... Um, I think it would probably be better with an extra spiral and maybe we can do a double spiral to make it thinner. Don't you do that? So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, go ahead and try to cut that in half a little bit. Don't cut it off, just cut it so it's a thinner. We'll have a double one. Most people have a single one. But you want it to spiral a lot. But this will be more fun for the wind too. So go ahead and hold it by the tip there. Here, watch. There, so this will be good, see? So the next thing we're gonna do, go ahead and hold it by that. I want you to take the hole puncher and punch a hole right in the middle of that part. Make sure you're in the middle so it doesn't break off. There you go. And then go ahead and punch a hole in the one of the tips of the stars, of the star. Okay, and you want to attach with a small string. Do you want to hold this and I'll show? Fine. You got it? Okay, just loop it all the way through. And then loop it through. Um, the yeah. And then go ahead and tie the string together in a knot. No, not that close. Make it so it hangs. Sorry. Just untie it all together there. There you go. I'm at a good distance here. So like, tie the knot there, yeah. It's hard because normally it's story time. I would have all the instructions printed out and ready to go. And sometimes it's easier to follow off a piece of paper than it is to listen. Because sometimes I'm not very clear when I talk. And I apologize for that, Matthew. He's not forgiving me. Okay. And then you want to put a hole in the opposite end. Just right up here. Like here? That's, that's fine. There's no, because it's only on the yeah. sides. And then go ahead and put the bigger string through there and tie it so that it's a big hangy. So where do I the other end too. You just tie it shut. Does it matter like how big the loop is? No, you want a nice loop, yeah. Okay. It's like big? Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna finish that and we're gonna take it outside and look at it hanging from a hook outside. Okay, so here it is. Here's our wind spinner here. Go ahead and give it a little twirl there, Matthew. So it'll just sit here and it's a very very um, 
on windy night tonight so it's just going to kind of sit there now of course since this is made out of paper you're going to want to bring it in if it's going to rain or anything but it should look really cute up at your memorial day celebrations celebrating holidays memorial day by rachel grack memorial day celebrated on the last monday of may is the day americans honor those who have sacrificed their lives for their country table of contents memorial day is here what is Memorial Day? Who celebrates Memorial Day? Memorial Day beginnings, time to celebrate. Memorial Day traditions, glossary to learn more, index. Memorial Day is here. Families gather at the cemetery. They lay flowers on military graves. A bugler plays taps while people stand quietly. It is Memorial Day. What is Memorial Day? Memorial Day honors fallen soldiers of the United States. People remember their sacrifice. For many, it also marks the start of summer. Who celebrates Memorial Day? People in the United States celebrate Memorial Day. Other countries may also honor U.S. troops who died on their land. Memorial Day beginnings. Memorial Day began in Waterloo, New York in 1866. It honored those who died in the Civil War. The holiday was called Decoration Day. Decoration Day was celebrated every May 30th for many years. People later began remembering all fallen soldiers on this day. It was renamed Memorial Day in 1967. Time to celebrate. Memorial Day now falls on the last Monday in May. Schools close to respect veterans. Many businesses also close for this important day. Memorial Day Traditions. People decorate military graves with flags and flowers. American flags fly at half staff until noon. Many people take a moment of silence at 3 p.m. Some buy red cloth poppies on this day. They wear the flowers to represent lives lost in service. The sales help veterans. Make a tissue paper poppy. Carry your poppy on Memorial Day to honor fallen soldiers. What you need. One black and one red sheet of tissue paper. Pencil. Small round lid or cup for tracing. One big round lid or cup for tracing. Scissors. One green pipe cleaner. What you do. Trace three circles using the small lid or cup on the black paper. Cut out the circles and stack them. Repeat step one with the big lid and red paper. Center the black circles on top of the red circles. Carefully poke the pipe cleaner through the center of the circles, pushing up from the bottom. Push through until about one inch of the pipe cleaner is poking up. Bend the tip in half to make a hook shape in the center of the flower. Hold the flower by the stem. Use your fingers to scrunch the tissue paper up. Fluff it out until the pipe cleaner tip is hidden in the black center. People gather to celebrate freedom on Memorial Day. Some grill food or go to the beach. Families watch soldiers march in parades. They remember those who died for the United States. Okay, for this one, we're gonna make a poppy because a poppy represents remembrance. So that's really great for Memorial Day since we remember those um, in the armed forces who, um, who are now gone. Um, what we need for this is black paper, green paper, red paper, scissors, glue, pencil. Um, I have a lid from hairspray and a plastic cup. Um, to make the poppy, um, the first thing I did was cut out the stem. It's just the long side of, or sorry, the short side of the construction paper. And I cut out leaves for it too, just to make it cute. So we already did that. Um, then I traced the cup onto the black paper and cut out the circle. As you can see, it's not very straight. I'm not great with circles. That's okay, because it's gonna be cool. And the next thing I did was I took two pieces of red construction paper and I folded them into thirds. Um, and then I went ahead and put the hairspray cap on, traced it three times, and then cut all those out. So we have one, two, three, four, 12 on each, 24. So that should be more than enough. So that's all we needed the scissors for. 
but I wanted to get it prepared in advance. Um, what we're gonna do is, um, I don't have a glue stick with me right now, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the regular glue instead. Just put a little strip up there. A little glue goes a long way when you're just dealing with construction paper. And we're gonna put the stem down. You can see it's squishing out the end, so you definitely don't wanna do this on a really expensive table or anything. We just use our TV trays. And this will be the center of the poppy. Um, you'll see in the tutorial um, that I attached the uh, um, video, it's actually a sunflower that they do. But, you know, I thought, why not make a poppy for Memorial Day? So we got that. I'm just gonna stick my little um, leaves on. I'm sorry, I get really nervous when I'm on camera, so shaking a little bit. Um, <laughs> there's one leaf and there's number two. We'll put that up a little bit for fun. And then all you do is you take all these little circles and you kind of fold them in half like that, not in half, like in thirds, to make the little petals. And you just put a little bit of glue down on the back and stick it down. And they'll kind of pop open a little bit to make a really nice petal. So we'll do that all the way around. And then I'll go ahead and I will show you um, we'll go ahead and pause this right now and um, I'll get it done and we'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, as you can see, this is how it is. Um, of course, the glue, I ever did it, but it will dry clear, it's school glue. Um, I put them close together so that the thing would stay fluffed up, um, the petals. Um, so that's how it looks. Um, if this is a little hard for the kiddos, you can always fold them for them and just have them glue or even um, you can even cut the circles into halves or thirds and have them just glue them on like regular petals. But I really like the 3D effect of this. So that's our Memorial Day poppy. Okay, everybody, I hope, ooh, looks like Dizzy was in on that one too. I hope everyone had a great time during story time and I hope your poppies turned out beautifully and you enjoy all of your wind spinners and have a great Memorial Day and try to stay healthy and happy and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.